these three Vado watches. Uh, I wear them as much as I can. Uh, these two here are automatics. Classic uh, case, Virado. And this one here is the quartz. Beautiful in the sunshine, this one. Uh, the gold speckled uh, face is really beautiful on a sunny day. Nice dark brown leather strap. Uh, original with the Rado buckle. These two here, I've actually replaced the straps over the years. Uh, quite like this lizard red. It's very in your face. It fits nicely with the black face of this one. Voyager. The little anchor does move on these as well. Okay. I'm never too sure which of the two I really like the most. They're both beautiful watches. The black and the stainless sit together very, very nicely. And this one here, gold on gold, also is very nice. A little bit of rubbing these days on, 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 the, on this one. It's getting on, but it's still a smart looking watch. Easy to read. Same with this one here, easy to read. Genuine watches that I've had for a number of years now and uh, care for them and wear them probably occasionally, probably not as much as I really should do uh, as I tend to wear my uh, T-Sock T-Touch most of the times. This was uh, one of my dress favourites. Uh, I see the battery is now expired so that's a little job I'd have to do sometime. That is a bit of a downside of quartz watches if you just had them as a dress watch. You don't wear them that much unless you're going out for dinner a lot, but you go to grab it, put it on, and uh, find that the battery's gone, which is a bit of a pain. Let's have a look at the back of these for a moment. One of these, I can't remember which one it is, has got a very special movement to it. I think it's actually um, pretty much a Omega movement. I just can't remember which one it is now. I don't really want to take the back off right now. It may actually be this one here. And I may take the back off and make a little special single video on it at some stage in the future. I do like the face on these as they have the flats going around on them. It's a fairly classic case that Rado used for a long time, probably 80s I would say. I haven't had these since new. This one I have, probably about 20 years now. Very nice watch. I actually haven't worn it that much over time, I've probably only worn it for maybe Just a few hours over all that time. Maybe 20 hours ever since I've had it. I've only ever worn it out of evenings. Never worn it during the day. The case is absolutely immaculate. So for those of you that like Rados, uh, these aren't the special high-end Rados of course, with the ceramic uh, <laughs> cases and, and, and uh, bands etc they are absolutely beautiful and, and of course the, the gold classic ones with the gold bands and the oval type uh, faces but these are just uh, three that I have that are special to me anyway 
and it may be that they relate to uh, your collection of rados as well. Happy to uh, have comments uh, on your experience with rados. Again, a, a very nice um, mid-range Swiss watch, um, affordable uh, and, and a classic, uh, appreciating classic I, I'd like to think over the years to come. Well, thank you for watching and I'll catch you a little bit later.